Now let's consider the wire-haired pointing Griffon's neck and body. The neck is rather long and slightly arched, with no dewlap. It blends smoothly into shoulders which are long and well laid back. Upper arms are of equal length to the shoulder blades and are angled well under the dog. This dog's correct angulation is such that the forelegs are placed well under the shoulder. A moderate amount of forechest should be present. Seen from the front, the forelegs should appear straight from shoulder to ground, with the elbows held close to the body, turning neither in nor out. The chest descends to the level of the elbows and is of sufficient width to allow plenty of room for heart and lung function. However, it should not be so wide as to make the dog appear heavy, coarse, or out at the elbows. Pasterns are slightly sloping. The feet are round and firm, with tightly closed webbed toes. Pads are thick. Dew claws should be removed. The Griffon's body is characterized by a strong, firm back, the top line descending in a gentle slope to the tail, making the withers slightly higher than the croup. The loin is strong and well-developed and of medium length. There is moderate spring of rib. What about this dog's body? It appears more square than rectangular, which is not correct for the Griffon. This dog's hindquarters appear to be higher than the withers. This too is faulty. This dog's body is correctly proportioned, being longer from point of shoulder to point of buttock than it is tall at the withers. The desired ratio of length to height is 10 to 9. Note again the strong, firm back with the top line descending in a gentle slope to the croup and rump, which are stoutly made and of adequate length to favor speed. The tail should appear as a continuation of the top line and may be carried straight or may be raised slightly. It should not, however, be carried straight up. It is docked by about a third to a half. Hindquarters should have long, well-muscled thighs with the stifle and hock joints well-angulated, matching the angulation of the forequarters and preserving the balanced appearance of the dog. This balance, along with good musculature, helps ensure that the Griffon can work all types of terrain for extended periods of time. Seen from the rear, the legs should be straight and parallel with the hocks turning neither in nor out. The rear feet, like the front feet, are round and firm with thick pads.